Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our mini series of Escape from Tarkov Flea Market Challenge. And this is pretty much just a mini little series until the wipe hits. Once that happens, we're going to be going back to our regular scheduled playlist of stuff. We're still doing our Ride to Riches series, so do not worry, that is still going on. This is going to be a side thing that we're going to be doing. So hopefully you enjoy, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the basic premise of it is, basically, is we're going to take a little bit of money, T-plug, sell it, and just rinse and repeat of just selling different items. And we're going to try to get to like 50, well, 50 million rubles is the kind of the goal. And 100,000 would be kind of cool, but I don't know if we're actually going to hit it before then. But yeah, that's pretty much all it's going to be to it. Uh, I don't know exactly how long these videos are going to be. Uh, to, to be honest with you, flea market videos may not be the most exciting thing in the world to watch. You let me know after the first video today what you think could be tweaked, what could be added. You let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. Hit the like notification also and also thank you so much for all those that actually gave me a little bit of comments in the last few videos I've done of Escape from Tarkov that said this would be kind of a cool idea so I appreciate your support on that one but for without further ado let's begin and go talk to the flea market talk to the flea market we're gonna talk to ourselves all right self how are we gonna sell this we need to see exactly how much the price is gonna be on this one so right now they're selling for 2400 at the lowest I mean high price is really high I'm going to try to undercut a little bit. I, I'm not a big fan of undercutting people because I feel like it's just kind of, well, I'm undercutting myself at the end of the day. But just so we can sell the first item and get it going, let's just do this. Let's do 2,350. We'll just start there. It does take a little bit of a fee. I did use a little bit of money just so that way we had some room between because obviously if we go bigger the item, obviously it's going to get expensive with the fees. So. Let's get this thing placed and see what happens. We have done it. We have sold our first piece. Let's get that money right there. 2350 in the bank. We got 9820. Okay, I have to think about what items we could buy. Cause to be honest with you, this was like kind of pre-planned to do, but didn't exactly look at what you could buy. So let's see what the prices of everything. I need obviously I need to leave room in between what I'm actually gonna buy and the cost of the fee was gonna be so a lot of this stuff gets, oh, this is expensive holy cow um now this has to be useful because obviously if i if i grab an item or i want to buy or, or sell an item after i buy it uh it, it can't be like super like pointless now granted a lot of junk now is actually useful so it's worth actually pretty much selling anything on the fleet market i'm thinking for right now going through this list looking through we're gonna start oh gosh wait till we can tell you the military uh transmitter oh price on that thing um but yes let's actually let's start with some capacitors because these are actually pretty decently priced just buy one because i can't afford to buy anything else other than that because let's do this let's sell that we'll buy we'll sell it for oh gosh we bought it for 62.5 Let's do this. Sure, it's just, yeah, let's do this. We'll do 6,500. Well, that's not much of a profit. Let's try to do this. Let's do 6,800. We're going to just do a small margin. It's going to probably take a little bit to sell, but we'll see what happens. So let's place that currency in there and see what happens. That actually came a lot faster than I was expecting. And I won't say no to that. <laughs> okay, so granted, again, we're not gonna make a lot of profits through this, but I did have a thought while we were selling that one, is let's go back to the T-plug. I do T-plug, it's gonna give me the option. Plug? Come on, there you go, T-plug. I actually am thinking, I mean, this is gonna take longer to sell, but it may be worth it because we can make a pretty decent profit from doing this. So if I buy, let's just buy both of these. Yeah, let's buy both of these. We bought them for two, four, five, zero. We sell both of these. One and two. Put an offer. Let's do this. I'm just gonna kind of attempt it and see what happens because I, I got time. Why not? Let's place at three thousand each. It's a pretty pretty decent margin. So let's put that on there. How much do we have left? We have enough for another item. We have three slots that we can work with. T plugs are way too expensive. I can't do that. Or sorry, plugs. Regular spark plugs are too expensive. So let's kind of go through all these items. See what we can find. 
don't want to go too crazy because if I go way too high, uh, I'm going to run to the point where I don't have enough money to continue the series. And that's kind of the goal is to not allow that to happen. Uh, I'm going to look through real quick and see what else I can find. And then uh, we'll go from there. I found one. I did find one. Let's buy this real quick while we can. So we bought it for 2800 and they're going for 4000 Got to find stuff like that and buy it up right away. So if it's selling for that much, let's do this. Let's sell it for exactly 3900 Yeah, let's place that thing right now. That's going to be a really nice profit starting right there. Uh, we have enough for one more item. I think. I'm going to look at some really cheap items and see what we can get. So I kind of put in a, uh, a minimum and maximum price of 500 to 1000 There's not much. There really isn't a lot. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to see if I can get my items to sell first. Let's get rid of all this filter stuff first. Um, yeah, let's just let all this stuff sell first and then we'll go from there. So it seems as though that the construction tape is going to take a little bit longer. So we're just going to grab the money from here. We're just going to continue buying some stuff. Obviously, it's going to take a minute for that one. I think it wasn't maybe the best buy in the world, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I need to find... I think barter items are still going to be the best. Yeah, probably stick with the barter items. Uh, how much is dry feel going for? 25,000. We do not have that type of money. <laughs> uh, we're going to, uh, we're going we're to keep our, uh, our budget a little lower than, than that. We want to stick with billing materials. Hey, packs of screws wouldn't be a bad idea. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Yeah, let's check that one out. Let's buy one of those. Okay, that one's not available. Let's try that again. Um, 5,000. Okay, 5,000 is going to be there. That's not too bad. I, could, I still have the, the enough for the, the fee. So we'll buy that. Let's just stick this on there because it'll sell at some point. I know it will. The screws are always needed for this. Let's just put up for 57.5 and we'll uh, give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room on that one. So let that sell. While that's happening, I'm going to go through some more of the items for the building materials because obviously everyone's still building their hideouts. They're going to need them. So they're going to be pretty profitable in my opinion. So we'll take a look. All right. So it's going to take a second to actually sell that measuring tape. Now I think about it because uh, a lot of people are putting a lot of offers below mine. Oh, it expired. Okay. I don't know why it expired, but we'll hold on to it in the inventory. I guess for now, but we also did end up selling the uh, the uh, the screws, which is good. We got a little bit of money from that one. I'm gonna take a look at the machinery keys, cause these actually do often sell. They don't. It's not a huge profit though, so I'm gonna maybe wait until I can find a really low one. Actually, can I buy the fence one. Holy cow! I can. Okay. So, so I bought it from the fence. Uh, I didn't know you could do that, actually. Let's put in an offer, then. Let's add... Let's see how much we can put that up for. Well, I mean, we, pretty much the highest is going to be four... Or the lowest is four grand right now, so why don't we put it for 4,300? And just see what happens with that. We did get the measuring tape back. I may just put that out for a loss now, just because I want to kind of move on. We are getting a little bit more money. So let's just put the offer out there again. I think about that. Let's filter the item. Yeah, because it's going all the way down to 2700 Let's just put this thing for... Well, actually, it won't be a total loss. Put it for $2,600. we will make 200 rubles on the thing. Minus the fees, we'll make probably like 100 rubles, but no big deal. We'll get that going. Uh, I want to look again. We got 5,000 rubles. 5,000 rubles to do something with. What can we do with this? Now, I will buy... A, I know some of you are probably confused why I bought that thing from Fence. Technically, fence, only time they'll have that stuff available is when it's sold by a player. So I'm technically still buying player sold items. So I'm gonna be sticking to that rule. I can only buy player sold items. Uh, keys. Keys actually might be not a bad idea. We should, we should, we should hold off on that one because I want to get more research than before I start buying keys for no reason. But, um,. Well, let's start with the machinery key. I'm gonna go for the machinery key again. Buy a couple of those and see what we can get. There they are. Let's go do the pricing again. Bring it back up. So four thousand is still the lowest one. Um, if I don't find anything. I'll check out another item. This could be a very interesting one. 
Now respirators, you need to find five of those for a certain quest, but you had to find all of those in raid. However, this one I'm going to buy, hope it works out. <laughs> this one, you have to, you have to use it for a quest for therapists. I can't think of the quest right now. Uh, I think it's something to do with therapists. I know that as much as I remember. So we're going to sell this one. We'll do it at 3,500 and see what we can do with that. But this could be interesting. This could be a very interesting trade. We're going to put that up there. We still got money to work with. There's our offers. Let's get all of our offers, see what we're working with again. Holy cow, did it just sell? Oh, we're just sold. Which one just sold? Oh, <laughs> the tape. <laughs> the one thing I've been waiting for for a while to actually sell. <laughs> That's funny right there. Okay, so we got some money again. That was perfect timing that actually happened. Half masks. Half masks. I think every one of the quests you need, you have to find it. So I don't believe that's going to be a good trade. That's really cool, though. Really cool mask. I'm glad they actually finally added in Pestley's uh, stuff. Really cool thing. All the backpacks and everything are decently priced, but most of them you can buy them off of traders anyway, so there's no point of really buying those. Although, there are going to be some that we could probably sell, like... The attack twos and whatnot, those will become useful down the road. Some armors are going to be kind of nice to do. So, we'll have to see. I want to go back to screws again. Screws. Show me the packs of screws. We're at 69. Okay, 6900 is now what they're at. What are you trading for? Bolts, bolts. Bolts are way more expensive than that, so it's not a good trade. Well, that's a bad trade. That's a bad trade, if I've ever seen one. We're gonna keep looking for the third and final trade and let them all sell at the same time. So give me a minute to take a look. So I end up going with another machinery key. Mine's still going up for sale, but it will definitely sell at some point. Obviously, I know people are gonna undercut me. It's just the, the part of the game. But I'm gonna put this one also for 4,300. It's gonna give me as much of a profit as the first one. We'll make like 1,300 rubles from it. So I'm gonna add that as well, get that on there. And now we have all three trades on there. Oh, it actually shows me. Uh, so yeah, we've got everything we have on there. We're gonna let it sit and let wait for it all to sell or expire, whichever one comes first. That took way too long to sell all those items, but we finally did sell it. Uh, okay, we need to get back to the flea market. I want to look at, uh, I want to look at some. Actually, there's one other barter item I want to look at. Let's bring the barters up again. Bring up the others. I think it's the other ones, right? No, 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 no. No, it was under building. I do remember this. It was. Where's the tubes at? Oops. Hoses. Sorry, hoses. That's what we're looking for. Oh, hoses. Ah. It went up in price. There was one that was super low. I was hoping to get it, but it unfortunately went up in price right before I could snatch it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, well, we have some extra money to work with. We're actually at 14 6 already. That's crazy. 14,000 already. I didn't think that was going to happen so fast. I'm thinking since we have the money. Ooh. This, this might be kind of worth kind of just like wait for a little bit. Wait a minute. Could I do this? Let's look one of those up. Filter by item. Oh, never mind. That's a bad trade. That's a bad trade. I was gonna say, well, maybe we could tr we could barter real quick. Then we could sell. I mean, we could buy that item and then sell that item. But that's actually not a very good idea. Let's go back to the respirators. That was a really good trade. Uh, three thousand. Okay. So not gonna be able to do much with that one right now. I'm going to take a look again, and I will see you guys in a second. Duct tape. This is actually not that bad of a trade. Let's buy one. Let's buy one of them. That was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. Okay, I don't know what exactly how much it's going to cost for the, the fee for the, the... But we're going to quickly list this. Let's do this at 13,000 as well. Yeah, let's do 13,614. Okay, we'll do that one. I don't want to do the machinery key again. I was going to do that one just because it was pretty convenient. The screws, on the other hand, let's just do a refresh real quick. Make sure I didn't miss any offers that popped out. This is a weird margin. 
It's a very weird margin that's happening. And I feel like if I can, like, come in at the right time and grab one, we can sell for a pretty decent profit. Obviously, like, you could do that with any item, but I'm just thinking on the top of my head, if this thing goes any lower, that's some really good profit. I'm gonna sit here and see if I can get, if I can get a duct tape at a really low price. If I can't, then I'm gonna probably go and buy, let's go to at the plugs again. Cause I may just buy bulk T plugs. Plug? Yeah, that worked, T-shaped. That may be the play. Cause I may be able to get some cheap ones, but I'm gonna like sit around for a minute on the prices for the duct tape and see what happens. It's gonna be kind of risky. I bought this one for about 4,500. I hope I have enough money for this. And I'm gonna sell it for six grand. I do, cool, all right. That is all of our money into two items right now, duct tape and also screws. I'm not too worried about the duct tape being at 13,000 because it's selling so f so fast, so fast. There's a couple offers that got put below mine. It's just gonna happen. But I'm gonna let this sit once again and I'm hoping you sell because this will be a really decent profit. Oh my God, we have literally been waiting way too long for that one to come through. We sold both of them. We sold the screws and we also sold, what was the other thing? Duct tape, duct tape is the other thing. I am so happy. We are at 19,000 rubles. That's not bad. You know, as far as it, it you know, took me to get from, what was it, we started at seven? Yeah, we started at seven. We started at 7,000 rubles and we get to 19 already. Not bad. We've only been doing this about, for about two and a half hours. That's probably not the best, but yeah, we're learning the flea market together and we're getting things going. Uh, why does it keep popping those things up there for me? Uh, I do want to try to buy one thing before we end this episode in that I believe is gonna be another barter item did you see it coming did you did you <laughs> let's do duct tape again uh I duct tapes if you can get it really cheap is really good and I can oh I'm gonna buy that right now oh I can buy can I buy two? Oh. oh oh gosh okay well let's sell both of those <laughs> please somebody have enough money for them let's sell these both for 13,000 both of them sell for 13,000. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Okay, let's do it. Okay. We don't need to make that much profit. 3,000 each is fine. Let's do 12, five. Well, actually, no, no, we could do, we could do this. 12,980, right? No, no, idiot. That's not how you do this. We're gonna do this. 12,700. Oh. That's a way big number. 12,700. Still not enough. <laughs> I'm not very good at the this whole like flea market pricing thing. We'll do 12,5. Just even it out, right? Still not enough. 12. Was that not enough? 12. Add. Oh, we can do it. I have 37 rubles to my name now. These have to sell. If they don't sell, we're broke. We're broke for, for a very long time. <laughs> This is gonna be a fun fun time, but that being said I'm gonna let those sit on the market and see if they sell overnight if they do I'll be very happy because I'm going to bed right now and we'll wake up in the morning and I will see you guys Hopefully the next episode will come out eh, Maybe the end of this week. Otherwise, it'll be coming out next week for sure uh, But I hope you guys enjoy the video if you're new to the channel and you like the series so far And you want to see more of it and more escape from Tarkov videos Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you like the video hit that like button and also leave a comment down below about the series what you're gonna if you're very excited about what you want to see in it and what kind of tips you can give me when it comes to the flea market because obviously if you've seen my series stuff before I don't typically use the flea market so let me know if you got some tips that I could probably use anyway I will see you guys in the next video